Right now, John Edwards back in court after a day of emotional testimony. A former staffer recounting excruciating details of an argument between Edwards and his wife, Elizabeth, after news reports surfaced of his extramarital affair back then. It was all too much for his daughter, Kate, who ran from the courtroom in tears yesterday. So how will emotional testimony like this factor into the jury's decision on whether Edwards broke the law? Let's bring in criminal defense attorney Rachel Self and former prosecutor Faith Jenkins. Faith, I'm going to start with you. So with all of this going on, the defense doesn't prep the family on what might come out. I understand John Edwards at one point turned to his daughter and said, I don't know what's coming. You might want to leave. Well, Harris, I mean, at, at any point there could be testimony that could come out and they may not know at which point it's actually going to happen. But obviously this testimony, there will be a lot of testimony that will have an emotional impact on uh, Mr. Edwards' parents, on his daughter who's in court, and even on the jurors. I mean, look at what the prosecutors are doing now. They're focusing. John Edwards' behavior because they're trying to show, they're trying to reveal his character. This is who John Edwards is. These are the things that he did. And they want to make the argument at the end of this trial that this is a person who was not just concerned about his family, obviously, but he wanted to use this money to buttress his chances of becoming president of the United States. I'll get more to, uh, to what that may have or how it may have affected to see his daughter run out of the courtroom. Mm -hmm. but, but Rachel, what I want to know from you now is just how, and, and we can put some more words up on the screen, how this really comes into play. Apparently, we're going to learn in that courtroom the jurors are all about Riel Hunter. The prosecution saying yesterday uh, to one of its witnesses, Christina Reynolds, a former Edwards staffer, wanted to know about Riel Hunter. The prosecution said, what did Ms. Hunter want to do? Meaning, what did she want to do if approached by reporters? Reynolds responds, she wanted to comment that she had been abducted by aliens. Prosecution said, and was the campaign concerned about what she would say? Reynolds says, we didn't know what she would end up saying. Rachel, why is this key to know? Well, I think that what they're trying to show is that they were concerned that she would affect the actual uh, presidential election. But the bottom line is, I feel like every time I hear something about this case, we're casting Sleazy the musical. I don't know who I like less. <laughs> and no, seriously, I mean, it's like nobody's likable, and the jury's not going to like anybody in this case. But the prosecution trying to show what a bad person John Edwards is doesn't necessarily make it a beyond a reasonable out case of campaign finance reform law violations. They need to show beyond a reasonable doubt that but for the presidential election, he would not have wanted to cover up this affair. Well, I don't know about you, but I certainly know men who don't need to be running for president who do everything they can to cover up their affair. Yeah. So, it, I mean, this is a very, very interesting thing. I think that it's like they're trying to make it a soap opera when truly what matters is the black and white letter of the law and the statute here is clear. And I don't think they're going to convict him. And if they do because the jury doesn't like him, an appeals court will most likely overturn it. Well, and, and Faith, I mean, all musicals and reality TV aside, what is real about this case is really emotional. Seeing the daughter, Kate, 30 years old, Harvard grad, run out of the courtroom in tears. Do you consider putting John Edwards on the stand now to try to turn this around for the defense, just in terms of the image maybe that's left in the jurors' minds? I, I think that's exactly what you'll see happen. I think Mr. Edwards definitely plans on taking the stand and offering uh, his account of everything that, you, that these jurors are hearing from the prosecutor's witnesses. And at the end of the day, I mean, it's really his credibility and his character that will make or break this case. So I think he's absolutely planning on taking the witness stand and testifying to explain some of these things. All right, real quickly, this comes from Jonathan Sari, our reporter uh, who's covering this today on the ground. He and I emailed back and forth. He says one of the things that nobody's talking about is whether or not that former aide, Andrew Young, and his wife, Sherry, would ever face any charges after this having to do with tax fraud, because there was a lot of money going around, and that's at the heart of this case. Rachel? Well, Andrew Young, it's very clear that he was granted immunity. I'm not sure what happened with his wife and whether or not she was granted immunity, but the federal prosecutors did grant Andrew Young immunity, so I don't necessarily see them going after him for any criminal action as a result of his testimony and cooperation in this case. All right. Uh Thank you so much to both of you for joining us. Uh, each day brings about new and, and more drama in the courtroom. I understand that there are two more former staffers who are on the stand right now. We'll update our viewers as the news happens on this. Thank you. Thank you.